I first heard about Allen's Word in like the mid 1980s. It is history preserved, history maintained to enlighten people about the struggles and that in spite of the struggles that African Americans endured um, from enslavement on up forward, um, this came about out of that, basically a nightmare. And so these all black towns came about, they were all over the United States. And this was the first one in California. Uh, this was chosen by the Colonel because it had three underground artesian wells and the train stopped at the front door of Allensworth and it was centrally located. So people came from near and far to come here um, to live in peace, uh, to have economic opportunity. Um, so it was a place of safety. So when the Colonel purchased the land, that's why he purchased this land. Um, and, and people came to, you know, there was no Jim Crow here, there was no discrimination, there was no oppression. It was just a great, safe place to live. Life in Allensworth was wonderful. Um, I've read books, I've articles. It was just a place where you were free. You were truly free to do, to work, and to be whatever you wanted to be. So people came here, they, they had businesses, they were business people, they were farmers, they were ranchers, they grew all kind of crops. Um, it, it, was a, it was a place which is where every place should be, everywhere should have been like Allensworth, where you can just enjoy your life and, and be all you want to be and just be happy. So it was a very happy place. Well, I always remember this one story when I was uh, reading about the town, um, and I can't remember her name, but she pulled up on the train out there, and when she got here, she said something to the effect of, where am I? And what have I done? You know, where am I? Because if you think this is isolated now, 1900, it was really isolated. And if you came from a large city, you know, to come here was kind of scary. And, and I remember, because I could just imagine myself pulling up here, coming from some city, thinking, what have I done? You know, and so I could kind of relate to her just wondering, what have I done and where am I? But it turned out to be a wonderful place. But, you know, at first sight, it could be kind of intimidating. <laughs> I think it's important to preserve the history of Allensworth because so much happened to these people before they came here. You know, life was not easy after um, slavery. I mean, slavery ended, but the fight did not end. The fight continued on. People, you know, there was 10 years of somewhat calm, but then about 10 years after um, the slaves were freed, Jim Crow came along. and. I think that's when black people realize this is not, we really are not free. We can't eat here, we can't sleep here, we can't work here, we can't be here. There were places where they were not allowed. And I think they just realized we have got to go and live by ourselves. And so I think that's why these towns popped up all over um, the United States. Um, many of them did not survive. But it's important that we remember what happened, why it happened, because if you don't know your history, you don't know where you're going. If you don't know your history, you really don't know yourself. So I think we as African American people are super strong. We have endured the worst. We are still here, and so we need to teach the next generation about who your ancestors were, what they endured, and what they accomplished, even through that, that trauma. People can get involved with my work by joining the Friends of Allensworth. We are a nonprofit organization um, connected to uh, Colonel Allensworth State Historic Park. We are always looking for members. Uh, we are always looking for volunteers. We are um, always looking for all kind of administrative help. Um, COVID was difficult for us, as it was for everyone. So we are definitely looking to grow our um, organization and make sure that we keep what happened here um, in the spotlight and pass this information on to other children. So 
uh, we are looking for all kind of help. <laughs> Thank you.